Welcome back to the Morning Blend. The definition of senior living has evolved over the years, and our next guests have evolved along with it. From assisted living and memory care to post-acute recovery and rehab, Coronado Heights can keep quality of life first and foremost into your golden years. That's right. Here to introduce us to Coronado Heights Senior Living is Executive Director Marcus Pregras, along with Stacey Henderson of mm -hmm. Sage Creek Post Acute. It's great having both of you. Welcome in. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome in. All right. So as we said off the top, senior living, this is uh, constantly evolving. Tell us mm -hmm. how it's evolved over the years. So uh, senior living nowadays, it's, it's, it's really becoming more evolved. More people are um, going into senior living, yeah. whether it's independent living, assisted living, memory care, things of that nature. Um, so we just want to be able to provide the best kind of care, best quality of life for our residents. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's just one of the things we're pushing for. Um, quality of life is is first and foremost in people's minds these days. And, you know, the definition of, of uh, senior care is just it's changing. It's different. Right. You really help people. You go out of your way to help the whole family make the transition. Exactly, exactly. So whether it's, it's um, education mm -hmm. through educating the family as far as changes in Alzheimer's, dementia, we provide those kind of things. Um, we, we, we try and set up. Um, Alzheimer's meetings and, and community meetings with families mm. so that they can come in and be educated, have speakers that come in and so they can be just educated on, on changes so, and transition. So everyone has a deeper understanding uh, of their loved one and what they're going through. Exactly. Yeah. It makes it a lot of sense. It can exactly. certainly be a bit jarring for a family to find out that one of their family members has been diagnosed with Alzheimer's and the questions that arise from that. So it's great mm. that you have that education there. Right. No question. Uh, Stacey, let, let's, talk, let's talk about uh, Sage Creek Post Acute, what, what it is that you do. So Sage Creek, we're located just right down the street from St. Rose Siena Hospital. Right One next of the door. Major, yeah. I pass you guys every time, by the way, going awesome. over to Freddy's. I love right, it. Yeah. Nice. Right we have a lot, a lot of yeah. restaurant choices right there. Mm -hmm. But we are <laughs> 60 beds, all private. It's a beautiful setting. Mm -hmm. And really, our services are helping patients that have been in a hospital mm -hmm. type setting. Maybe they've even been at home and they've had a decline in function. They're severely mm -hmm. debilitated. Um, and really, or maybe they've had a surgery done at uh, the hospital and mm -hmm. they're just, they've finished their acute care process, but really just aren't quite ready to go home. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that would be an ideal patient to come to us and perform really high level physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy high level nursing care and really helping them to get prepared to be safe at home and stay out of the hospital. Well, it really is a blessing to have a facility like that available to you. When you're in that stage where, um, you know, maybe you want to go home emotionally, but really the best thing for your body is to get to do that incredible rehab. I mean, you can really help people recover like in a much faster way, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think for our setting, it's really about over the last 10 years, we've seen such a shift in post-acute care services and really mm. getting away from that institutional feel in the hospital and having an environment that's very home-like, that's quiet, private rooms, a beautiful setting, but without sacrificing really high quality care. And patients mm. can get that, that occupational, physical, speech therapy, the nursing care. And again, just helping them to, to be at home and to feel empowered um, in their care as well. They have mm -hmm. decision-making abilities in a facility that they can have choices for nutrition and they can have choices for their therapy setting and times and even sometimes mm. their discharge plan and really just helping them to get home successfully. And that's nice. one of the things that sets Sage Creek apart is that you've been created during this time of metamorphosis where having care doesn't mean you have to be in a clinical environment, it can mm -hmm. actually be a relaxing environment. And that's kind of what sets you apart, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. It's really neat too. I want to point out the relationship between the two. Marcus, you were mentioning to me that some of the residents of Coronado Heights say they needed some rehab. They will go over, be treated at Sage Creek, and they can still have uh, their friends from Coronado Heights come over. Right, and, you know, right, it's quite a right. family yes, you've it's, established it, it, here. It really, it really helps us kind of being that they're right next door to yeah. us. If our mm. residents have any kind of issues where maybe they fall, break a hip, or or just maybe get pneumonia or something of that nature, they can go to a place like Sage Creek right next door to us. Um, as you know, it can be a little difficult for other, um, for their friends to maybe get to them if they're at a, a place that's further away, a rehab that's further away, where yeah. they can just walk right across right the way, there. go yeah. right mm -hmm. there, visit their friends. And as you know, 
that mentally can change a resident's spirit from going from here to there just mm -hmm. to have their friends come in and, and, and push them and say, hey, come on, get this rehab. We're waiting for you to come back. And, mm -hmm. and even our staff, they'll, they'll go visit on their break mm -hmm. sometimes and just go say, hey, we're waiting on you. We're keeping everything good for you. You know, we miss you. Yeah. Get, yeah. get back here. So yeah. that's, that's, awesome. that's a very good plus and a very good thing for us as far as having them as our sister facility. It's a very beautiful and welcoming campus. As I say, mm -hmm. I've passed it several times. It looks very nice. Uh, if people want to learn more, where, where, where do they go? They can visit us at uh, sagecreekpostacute.com. Mm -hmm. um, our facility phone number is 702-790-3000. Mm -hmm. We, of course, welcome patients, family members coming into to our facility, come and check us out and uh, we'd be happy to, to show you around and help your loved one get better. And for Coronado Heights? CoronadoHeights.com, uh, phone number is 725-200-3400. Mm -hmm. um, we're offering tours all the time. You could come in, you can even come in and do some activities if you would like. We have the best activities in Las Vegas, hands down. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if you wanna just come step in and, and get a feel for what, Thanks, what it's guys. all about. Awesome. Right. It's great having Sean you. Sean will stop by you. next time he's going to Freddy's. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I go to the Target right near there, so I'll <laughs> stop by as well. Coronado Heights Senior Living is located on 2320 Ione Road near Eastern at St. Rose. Sage Creek Post Acute is right next door. For more info, look at the website or call the number that's right there on your screen. That info is for Coronado. Coronado Heights Senior Living and Sage Creek Post Acute are proud sponsors of the Morning Blend.